I have been taking a lot of this brush off the golf course because I truly believe that golf courses such as mine, a small nine hole course in rural Wisconsin, and this goes for a lot of other golf courses as well, except on that top tier, um, I would say at least in the Wisconsin and Minnesota area, the top tier $70 plus, $80 plus courses um, at a peak prime time should be making their golf courses easier to play. So I've owned my course here for three years going on four. And I have been doing a lot of brushing like this. It's essential to small business owners like myself who want to continue their business and continue to watch the numbers and the amount of golfers grow. So a lot of my trees I have trimmed under to make it at least accessible for somebody to find their golf ball, speed up the pace of play, and enable a lower golf score shot. And uh, you could see trees like this. I've continued to do this. And now why I am doing this? Well, if you look at the average golfer, you know, they're not like me. I'm a scratch or below scratch golfer on my own golf course. Um, nobody or not a lot of people around here are like that. Uh, you know, you're getting the occasional golfer on a weekend that goes out and shoots a 50 or a 55. And that's what a lot of these golf courses in this area and maybe a lot of you owners who are watching or whatever, shoot. We want to go out and we want to have fun at the end of the day. And uh, that goes for any level of golfer down to the scratch, down up to the 10 to 15 handicap. It's all relative. Everything is relative at the end of the day, no matter your skill level. So if as owners or superintendents, if we can go out to our courses, clear areas like this, make them easier to play, what does that do? Well, A, that lower scores and maybe one or two strokes around isn't a lot, but to somebody who is paying 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars, 70 dollars to play your golf course, that is a you know that that can make it or break it, uh, depending on you know what they shoot. So that's the first reason. Second reason is time. Um, with all of these outdoor activities becoming increasingly popular since COVID, golf has now had to battle with side-by-sides, uh, boating, hiking, camping, uh, everything like that. So when we could shave off 30 minutes for an 18-hole round of golf or even 15 to 20 on a 9-hole round of golf, that is astronomically beneficial to getting people to come back and play your golf course. So, you know, it's just uh, it's just simple things like this that allow your golf course to grow and allow people to come back to your facility and go out and have a good time. And at the end of the day, um, I've worked at various clubs here uh, in my time. And at the end of the day, no matter what level you're at, you need to make it easy to, you know, to your golfers. Clean it up, make it accessible. Make those areas behind greens or those areas where you have trees clean around so that we can continue to grow the game and continue to allow people to play our sport that we that we love so much. Um, I'm doing this on December 21st today, so there really is no excuse to get out there and uh, get get your course cleaned up. Grow the game, grow the numbers, grow your own financial numbers, um, and uh, get people to come out to your facility. Uh, we are all in it for uh, the growth of the game.